Hello and welcome to another Total AV how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at Total AV Adblock Pro, which is a ad blocking service within our Safe Site browser extension. So you join me to begin with logged into the Total AV dashboard. What we're going to do first is install uh, Safe Site and enable Adblock Pro. So to do so, once logged into your dashboard, hover over the marketplace icon and click Safe Site. So we're viewing uh, the dashboard on Mozilla Firefox. Um, we also have this browser extension available for Google Chrome. So once you're viewing the page on Chrome or Firefox, simply click the download button, click continue to installation, a couple of seconds will pass, click on add, and then we get a notification saying that Total AV Safe Site has been added to Firefox. You can see the little Total AV shield now up in the top right corner. So if I click this, you'll see a little login screen appear and then disappear. And the reason it disappeared so quickly is because I have Total AV Antivirus installed and it recognized that and logged me in automatically. So now we're looking at the sort of front panel for SafeSite. And as you can see, this tile in the bottom left corner is for Adblock, currently set to off. I'm going to leave it off for the moment while we just take a look at some websites uh, and see what they're like uh, just without um, any kind of ad blocking. And then we will enable ad block and see the results. So to start with, I'm on a typical news website. And as you can see, if we scroll down the page, straight away, great big ad. Getting a bit further down on the right hand side, got more advertising. And some more here. Okay, so you get the general idea there. Now, sometimes on a page such as this, these, these ads are not particularly intrusive or not particularly malicious. However, on sort of an older computer, when you load up pages like this, you will find that these ads do actually slow down the whole browsing experience. As you as you scroll down the page, you know, they, they get in the way and they because they're so flashy and they animate, they really do actually slow your computer down. So by blocking them, you, you, you can actually gain you know a bit of a bit of speed while browsing the web um, on on older machines. Um, and then the, the the other sort of core reason, you know, we we are um, an antivirus and, and protection provider is we, we we can't always guarantee even on on seemingly good websites that the these advertisements aren't for something malicious or something you know that we don't trust. Um, so really, you know, you're you're going to a website for the reason of of getting some content from it, some information, um, and you don't necessarily want to see these ads. So that's the the core reason you use an ad blocker. So if we now click our extension, and turn AdBlock Pro on. If we now refresh that page, that will mean that AdBlock Pro can actually start blocking some of the advertisements on on the website. So that's refreshed a lot quicker than when we first loaded it. So if we scroll down now, no advertisement there, nothing on the side, nothing here. So we've just got nice clean content relating to the website. So that's a typical US um, news website. Here's one of the worst offenders uh, when it comes to British news. If we turn off Adblock Pro, refresh the page. Quite slow loading because there's so many ads. Just still loading. <laughs> Might be able to see up on the sides here we've got advertisement and we've got this advertisement here again very very slick animated ad and we've got this one down in the corner now as well and it just slows down the page load it's so slow loading because of the amount of ads so uh, and these ones on the side also with, that follow me down the page so if we now Enable Adblock Pro, refresh our web page. Get 
get a much quicker loading page when the ads don't don't appear. So Adblock Pro always running once enabled. Whether you close your browser um, or go to a different web page, if this is on, it's going to remain on. Now, what I should mention at this point is um, we've predominantly been looking at ad block blocking sort of banners um, and things that are embedded on web pages. Um, it's very important to understand that that is what an ad blocker does. It blocks content that's actually on a website. Um, so we, we, we do receive um, support requests and, and um, some confusion surrounding ad block where users think that notifications they're getting in the bottom right corner of their screen or sometimes in the top right corner on a Mac um, that they think that Adblock should be blocking these. Now it depends where these notifications have come from. Um, there is functionality within browsers to set up um, website notifications so you can go to your favorite news website and say that you want to receive notifications every time a new story is published for example. Um, unfortunately that platform is abused it's called uh, browser push notifications um, some of these are great some of them do alert you you know on sites like I'm looking at here they alert you to new news stories um, but others unfortunately try and trick you into thinking you might need to install some kind of antivirus protection or tell you there's malware on your computer or anything that there's sort of trickery to try and get you to do something um, now that that falls outside the remit of Adblocker. So hopefully that covers um, some of the features of Adblock Pro. Um, if you want to find any more information out, please visit our support centre. There's links from your Total AV dashboard to that. Um, or drop us an email at support at totalav.com and we will be more than happy to help. Um, thank you very much for watching.